Hello, this is Denver Riddle of Color Grinning Central, and in this video tutorial, we'll get right into doing color correction. What we'll be learning is how to set the proper exposure based on the focal point of our image. This is very important and is the first order of operation in our correction stage. Here's the philosophy behind setting exposure based on our focal point. A foundation in filmmaking is showing your audience what you want them to see and how you want them to see it. For example, a director of photography on set will typically expose for the skin tones using a light meter and set the camera exposure accordingly as that is the focus in the image. Sometimes, however, because of a small budget, time constraints, or any other number of factors, the exposure may not be optimal, either under or overexposed, and this is where the colorist can come in and help out. Next, there is a useful guide for setting exposure called the Ansel Adams Zone System, pioneered by the famous black and white photographer Ansel Adams. Using the zone system as a guide, we set the exposure based on what zone we want the focus to lie in. For instance, most skin tones should lie in zones 5 through 7 depending on the complexion. And then once we've set our exposure based on our focal point, we'll then set our shadows and highlights. This way we're giving priority to the things that are most important in the image. Also by the way, the guide that you see here I'll have available for download. Let's do some color grading. The way to accomplish this in Final Cut Pro 10 is with the global exposure control. What this will do is it will allow us to move the entire exposure range up or down and will allow us to set the exposure wherever we want it. So we'll first determine what zone we want the focus to be in. In this case, the skin tones of the talent in this underexposed image and because she has lighter complexion will set her skin tones in the sixth zone of the zone system. What that would be on the waveform monitor is the equivalent to 60 IRE. But you might be wondering, well how will we determine from the waveform which are her skin tones with all of the other trace information? Well first off, the new color trace feature of Final Cut Pro 10 will help us to better identify her skin tones. And what's even better is this cool technique I'm going to show you that will allow us to measure her skin tones in the waveform monitor. Using the crop tool, we'll crop in on an area of her skin tones. Then in the exposure tab of the color board, we'll make the adjustment to the global puck and raise it up until her skin tones begin to touch 60 IRE. Now I will point out something important. As we raise the global puck, this will cause the image to look a little washed out. So to compensate, I'm going to drag the shadows down to offset this and I will have to go back and forth until I reach my desired result. Then all we simply need to do is to reset the crop. And we can do this by clicking the crop reset option in the parameters. And that's it. We've properly exposed our image in an optimal way that centers our exposure on our focal point. In the next tutorial, we'll cover setting the shadows and the highlights to create contrast and expand the dynamic range. Thank you for watching.